Now, they might not be the most visible inhabitants of our coastlines, but lugworms and their love lives are currently under the spotlight of scientific research. It's only for a few days a year that the marine worm gets in the mood for, well, you know what. To find out about the specific environmental conditions needed for the creature's reproduction, the Institute of Marine Sciences in Portsmouth is inviting the public to join a project dubbed Sperm Watch. Nicole Riz has more. Castles made of swirly sand tubes are often the only sign of lugworms digging deep under the surface. The coastal worm lives a rather secretive life, and when it comes to love, there's still some things to find out about it. That's why scientists are currently encouraging people to look out for signs of worm passion. Well, sperm Watch um, is a study where we uh, want to find out when the lugworm reproduces. Um, and we actually asked lots of people, uh, members of the public all around the UK uh, to get involved and go out and help us uh, find out signs of lugworm reproduction, signs of lugworm passion actually. In short, you go out um, at low tide, and you choose a good spring tide and then all you do is you go out onto the waterline, walk parallel to the shore um, and you just record the numbers of sperm puddles you find and at the same time also you look out for these worm casts. So important when you choose the beach, you want to do the survey, go and check that you actually have signs of this, uh, that the lugworm is actually there. So you don't actually see the lugworm, but you see these little sand casts. Lugworms are a key species on the beach. They're a food source for many birds and fish and put nutrients into the sand. But finding the right mate is difficult for the marine worm, which spends its entire life burrowed deep in the sediment. That's why it's found a unique way of spreading its sperm. It seems to be that they reproduce only in autumn for a, for a few days um, a year. So that happens in autumn, um, it's probably around spring tides we think. And the, what, what's really fascinating is that a population um, on a particular beach, um, they all seem to be releasing the sperm, so the males release the sperm all at the same time. And this seems to be happening in response to certain environmental cues. So we think it's to do with the moon, um, so that they actually detect the full moon and the new moon phases. Uh, we also think it's to do with weather, so they, that they're actually sensitive to the good weather conditions. That they only release the sperm to the surface um, when the weather is relatively good, so that the sperm isn't just washed away by rain, for example. And then what happens is that the, uh, the sperm is then, when the tide comes in, uh, washed into the uh, burrows of the females. So the females will also have deposited the eggs before. Um, so it's quite an interesting um, thing that they can all do this at the same time. The research will be going on for three years and scientists are also going to look into the effect climate change has on the worm's reproduction. Quite a lot of animals start reproducing when a certain temperature is right. And in case of the lugworm, it seems to be when the temperature drops below a certain time. Uh, the temperature. So what we think happens is um, that if, if climate change might actually cause that this happens a lot later because of the warming um, seawater and air temperatures. Uh, and if this happens a lot later, um, the reproduction of the lugworm might actually coincide with storm events a lot more and this could be really problematic uh, for, for example, for the success of these species to actually reproduce for the sperm and the egg to meet. People can join launch events for Sperm Watch on the 1st and 2nd of October in the Solent area. Nicole Ries for That's Solent.